Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for March 29th of 2023 well, it is titled SH2 308, a dolphin shaped star bubble. So what do we see here? Well, we see what is called a star bubble. And does it look a little bit like a dolphin head pointing up towards the upper left hand side? Well, a lot of people think so. And that's how it's gotten its name as being dolphin, the dolphin head nebula. What it really is, is the nebula around a hot star. And this is what is known as a Wolf Rayet star. These are among the hottest stars. This one over 20 times the mass of our sun. And it will push material out. These have very energetic winds and are unstable and are expelling material out into space. Now, typically, you expect the material to be expelled out in a uniform pattern. And that's just you'd think that if the star being spherical is excelling is accelerating material out, that it will end up being a spherical pattern. So why do we get this dolphin shaped head where one part of material seems to have been gone out a little bit further? Well, the material is not expanding out by itself. We think of space as being very empty, and honestly it is, but there is some material there. And when you're in a dusty area or a gaseous area, that material that is expanding has a shock wave that propels it out into other into other areas. And the more material there is, the slower it will expand in that direction. So we can see that there's some more intense uh, shock waves towards the upper part the top of the dolphin head perhaps here and that is slowed down this and perhaps there is an opening an area where there's very little material where the dolphin mouth goes off toward the upper left hand side and that allows that material to have expelled faster and moved quicker through that area. Uh, we can also see again towards the lower left that again, it's again not completely symmetrical around the bright star in the center. And that some of that material may be moving out a little bit faster as well. So it's a combination of how much material is there around it. And here it has expelled out a bubble that now spans 60 light years. So our sun there, this would have much of our local neighborhood of stars would easily fit within this bubble. That is how large this is and is about as big on the sky as the full moon. Now, of course, it would not be as visible as the full moon because it is not nearly as bright. It would be incredibly faint, requiring a very deep exposure to be able to pick it out. So here we get to see the dolphin shaped nebula there and the clouds off to the left. It's always wondered, are those associated with the uh, same energy are those glowing because of the energy of that same star. And that just gives an idea of how energetic these Wolf Rayet very massive stars can actually be. So that was our picture of the day for March 29th of 2023. It was titled SH2 308 a dolphin shaped star bubble. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.